tell me about the exhibition in Ramses. Uh, the, ex- the exhibition in Ramses or that, that day when I met that collectors? Tell me everything. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> because I was exhibiting in Ramses. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, that day uh, I was wearing some of my jewelry and I ordered some drinks and there were two men uh, there and they looked at my ring and they were amazed, like asked me who are the designer and I said I'm the designer of the that jewelry and we were talking and they offered me to, to start a, a business in New York and Miami. So that's one. And did this business flourish? No. Why? Because because I I wasn't ready. I'm not ready still to to have a business th- uh, with the jewelry. Why? Because I'm doing all the pieces on my own. And I need to start in a very small gallery and then grow. And I'm going to exhibit in, in Los Angeles in one of the best galleries around the world. I think it would be a really great idea for you to only wear your own pieces because I saw those ones, I said, cool, and then you tell me they're not yours, I was like, I know, I... I missed the opportunity there to have conversation. Yeah, sure. It's true. Many people think that I, this is my... Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Only I, my design... There's no pictures on the walls here, but when I have... Yeah. When I when I have my new flat, which I'm in the middle of buying, I've got well, rid of I all my furniture I'm and I'll be putting all my pictures on the walls and only I'm, my pictures. Yeah. Or well, maybe, yeah, I could put a picture of this everybody knows is David Bailey or some famous photographer. Okay, if you like that, every, nobody's going to confuse my photo with his photo because everybody knows the picture if it's Richard Avedon or whatever. Mm. But yeah. Okay. I normally do it when I'm in an event, even with my my fashion, you know, like my clothes. I wear my own clothes and my jewelry. There. You design your own clothes as well. Yeah. Not. This. Where do you sell your clothes? I don't. They are only for me. <laughs> like... I'm struggling to make money here. You don't sell to the Orientals. You. You didn't I, want to do the jewelry in New York. No, it's like I didn't want. It's like I, I. The first step is to go to the MoMA museum and present them there. You okay. Know? Not just sell them in a gallery. No, 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 no. Why? No, because it doesn't work like that. Or oh, I don't want to work like that. Okay. <laughs> no, it's just. Uh, it's not my jewelry. Is not to be in, in a normal shop. Because they are very special pieces. They are sculptures. They are not jewelry. I mean, like. Where do you sell your pieces? On my website or through a gallery, not in a shop. At the moment. If Tiffany said that they wanted a line with your name on, would you say no? No, for sure not. But they won't be that type of uh, pieces. They are like they are sculptures. They are other, they are different. I would do a line for Tiffany's, for example. I was talking with Tiffany's, and I showed them my, my designs. So you would do a sort of pret a for Tiffany's and have your fine art yes. on the side. Mm. How do you price your work? Comparing, or well, looking at the work of other artists that are the same kind of similar uh, style to mine, for example. Yeah, you've got the same questions. Yeah, huh? that's it. It's like I took them from the, some references. Um, for example, uh, the first. Too many years. Yeah, sorry. The first. The Don't first... say sorry. Just fix it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the first uh, sculptures that I created, I didn't know the price that I should put because I came from the design world and for me to to start uh, putting the prices for a sculpture that for me it was like very cheap to create and very easy and very quick but uh, I I needed some help from an art dealer in that case and he, he suggested me to, to put that the price of, for my first sculpture. Then, after that, I knew more or less how 
how they how to put the the price up for them that's how i did it and i'm i'm yeah, yeah the thing is that i'm talking to you like a friend but maybe i shouldn't say that in a <laughs> in a in a presentation for you for you sure. want to role play this this is yeah. like your interview yeah yeah because i don't know if you know what but i should i should cage reply. fighting is but I should reply here. Uh, it depends on the market and the, my. Okay, this is this is cage fighting. This is where people have a fight in a cage and they do nasty shit to each other. Mm. No, like this. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the people who train cage fighting, they say, we want to make the training so difficult when you get into the cage, it's easy. Mm. Okay. So the idea is that I am critical, I stress you, I yeah, always yeah, stress yeah, on sure. them. And you go to the interview, he's like a nice guy, he yeah. has coffee and drinks, and I don't know, mm -hmm. and much mm -hmm. easier. I don't know if he's nice, if he's formal, if he, I don't oh, know what he's like. Maybe they are not, yeah, yeah. That, I maybe know. there's five people and they're like, like, not giving you any emotion, no, no feedback. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they like you. So... What are the worst things about your art? What do you dislike about your art? That's one of the questions, and I replied, yeah, on my questionnaire was the same. Mm -hmm. And I don't. Find any, maybe the big ones are too big, but I don't. I don't find any anything that I don't like about them. Okay. Cool. No. In a normal. I wouldn't do them. Sorry. Oh, yes, yes, I agree. In a normal interview, it's the same question, but they say, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Okay, so the normal answer for the people who bullshit is, I'm a perfectionist and whatever. That's the normal answer. I'm a perfectionist, but I'm trying to work. There's sometimes you have to make compromises, and I explain, 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 so it doesn't look too bad. But it's not really a big defect. You don't say, I like to drink and take cocaine and come to work late. <laughs> Obviously. No. But if you say, well, if I have a defect, or I have something I don't like, I don't do it. Yeah, that's, that's fine. It's also, I don't do it. It's not about you, it's about your work. Your work is you, but it's not you. It's a third mm -hmm. party. So you can say, if I don't like it, I don't do it, or I don't show it to anybody. Yes. No? I, I think that's, that's a good answer. Yeah. Yeah, but it's true. I don't, I don't do anything that I don't like. Where do you see yourself? In five years' time. This is a question in all interviews for everybody. Or ten years' time. This is, this is in the art interviews and it's in any job interview. Eight Where do you see yourself in five years' time? Living in New York for six months and coming back here. Working for, like... Um, having my workshops here in, in Madrid and Spain. But all clients around the world. Exhibiting in galleries like uh, Marlborough or Lison Gallery in London and New York or Gagosian, for example, and some of my pieces in museums. Who owns your art? Who owns my art? Tell me some of the people who own your art. Ah, the collectors. I don't know, Madonna, Guy Ritchie, I don't know. No, I, private collectors that they are not as important as Madonna. They, they are not. Arguably. Como? Arguably. I don't understand. Ar arguably. Arguably. I don't know what's that. I don't know what's that. I don't know I what don't understand. that is. Yeah. I don't know. What question. That what's that? Yeah. Well, I don't, well, that's a question. Or oh, I don't know. Statement. What that is. What Word that order. is. Arguably. It means that potentially it, they are not as important as Madonna, but then Madonna is just a singer. These people are in the art business. It's not necessarily inferior to Madonna. 
it's ar- is it arguable that Madonna is superior, but not necessarily. No, no, no. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, sure. So it's arguably that you know these people are just as important as Madonna, mm-hmm. and that your your wor- work is for the people who understand it, not just for Kim Kardashian and yeah. celebrities. But if you had Kim Kardashian, you would become one million followers on Instagram overnight. Well, imagine how many you would sell to the billionaire wives of Russian mafia if yeah. you had Kim <laughs> Kardashian having... no Or Beyoncé. Or Beyoncé, or anybody. Mm. It's Inspire me. It's in one of the questions. Inspire me. That's one of the questions on the list of art... art... Art residency, standard question, interview things. It's one of the questions. Inspire me. I don't know. It means tell me something. Dazzle me. This is your 15 seconds, not of fame, but of potential to get my interest, to make me invest in you with time and money. No? I don't really know what to say there. Okay, well, let's think of something. It's on the list. I didn't invent this one. But I should talk about my art, or... I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, that's the point. Well, tell me something. Ask. You don't want to bottle up. But, uh, that is very important to know our, ourselves, to uh, be living in, in, a, in, like, in happy all day, for example. <laughs> and that's what my sculpt that my sculptures try to show with the with the lines and that so like with how they are. So <laughs> let's think about this as in the role of the other person. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who, who am I who's asking you these questions? Who am I? You tell me. You are my jury. The, the, my, your well, jury. Well, the, the jury of, for that um, our residency. 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 And what do we want? Very quick uh, question answer. Why? What is our final goal? That's what do we want. What do, when we're choosing the people, what do we want? What do we look for? Yes, yeah, some someone that is just open to and and quick to reply. Like when no, ¿cómo se dice? Um, the, I don't think that I'm looking for the person who's quickest to reply because no. otherwise I get somebody who talks a lot and, and it's no good. Yeah. I want the person who can convince me that they are the most interesting yeah. artist who will create the most interesting art and this will... You never know if art will be successful or not, economically or critically, I don't know. That, that maybe it's just something random or maybe it's logic, I don't know. But we want something that is worth us taking a risk on this and trying to invest our time and money. We want something, we want you to stand out. Yeah. Tell me, tell me something, inspire me. Make, you have to stand out, you have to make me think that you're more interesting than all the other people. I don't, I, I don't know what to say. Okay, okay, so we've got a problem. No. Let's think. Mm-hmm. What, what element of your different businesses are you selling to these people? Is it the design? Is it the sculpture? No, no, no. I, I just show them my, my artwork. I didn't your show art. my, my... The thing is that uh, I was told that the purest um, critics of art they don't want to see that an artist is working as a designer. So that's why I have three different... No, I'm just explaining you. It's not like a jury, but... I, it's like I cannot show my design work if I am there. Design work. Design work. Not design work, design work. Design work. Now, because... When, and particularly bring you up on your major words, because these are major words for your business, Mm -hmm. your design work 
is a two word word but it basically one thing no what do i what is it it's a chair it's design work so you say it like it's one thing mm -hmm. and design work normally the stress is on the first word like policeman yeah policeman policeman design work design work design work design work that's it so you give them more stress on the beginning they understand you quicker okay so we'll just talk about your art Tell me about your art. Well, I just well I told you before. <laughs> okay, so do you think that's the right answer? No, sure. Okay, no. so tell me about your art. Tell me about your art. Inspire me with your vision for your art. We can maybe ask. Because sometimes the people, they ask you the same question two different ways. Mm. Or maybe they're not listening. Maybe they've seen ten people this morning. They don't even remember what you just said. Maybe they don't give a shit. Maybe they're stupid. Or maybe they ask the same question two different ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, inspire me. Maybe you could say, tell me the wonderful things about your art. I don't know what they're going to say. Let's just try this. Instead of just inspire me, which was a bit difficult for us to answer. Tell me about your art. Tell me about this. Well, I have like to. If you see my work or my sculptures, I you you see like two different. Mm, I don't know how to say that. Um, Try say what you know how to say. Don't run into a dead end. Just tell me what you can say. Imagine you have to go to China and you can only say a couple of words. You tell them a the couple of words and you sound like you yeah. mean it. Okay, so. They are like two different, st not the styles, but the big sculptures are different in in size, of course, uh, comparing to the small ones. But also the energy that they have is totally different because the the interaction with the viewer is completely um, different. And um, 